start with some questions from James Ham. Hey, Tyrese, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, man. Hey, uh, what have you done over the last, I don't know, week to just sort of mentally prepare yourself for what's about to come today, tomorrow with the, the start of camp? Um, you know, I took the day after the draft, I just chilled at home with, with uh, family and friends and then uh, just got back to work, got back to working out uh, the next day and uh, just been working out since I got out here um, to Sacramento on Friday. So uh, just spend as much time with, you know, my family and friends as possible um, because I, I, I won't be back in Wisconsin for a little bit. So um, just spend as much time as possible and just uh, keep on working. Yeah. How are you going to sort of saturate yourself with this material? How do you, what is your learning process and, and how quickly do you think you're, you're going to pick up on this offense? Um, just ask as many questions as I possibly can and learn in any way I can, uh, just in constant communication with uh, Coach Walton and Coach Gentry and uh, me and De'Aaron have talked uh, a little bit through the phone uh, about, you know, offensive schemes and stuff like that. And, uh, just, you know, diving in any way I can. So um, just trying to be a sponge and soak up everything and uh, ask as many questions as I, as I can. Sean Cunningham. Hey, Ty, how's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. Good to see you. Um, since you've landed in Sacramento, uh, I know you haven't really had much to do. <laughs> Obviously, it's still a pandemic, but just early impressions and what kind of the day-to-day -day is like for you since arriving. Uh, it's been cool. Uh, I can't. I couldn't really get into the facility, so um, I kind of just been chilling in the hotel room with uh, with my girlfriend, uh, just hanging out, watching TV and movies and stuff. Uh, found a little little gem cafe uh, that we've been going to uh, every day since I got here. So uh, that's a, that's been my breakfast routine. But other than that, uh, I kind of just been been chilling and, and walk around the city just a little bit. Cool. And then when uh, you know since being picked up by Sacramento, signing your contract, obviously they went in a different direction with, with uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich and it kind of shows a lot of faith in what they have in you. I'm just curious from your standpoint, how you look at that. Does that, does that kind of put any, any more pressure on you? Does it, I mean, I just, how do you kind of internalize some of some of the movement that they've done and just the faith they have in you? No, I don't think it really does anything for me. Um, you know, I, I felt like I put a lot of pressure on myself um, you know, and, and everything I do. So by them not uh, re-signing bogey uh, didn't really affect me too much. Um, I think it does show a lot of confidence that, you know, the organization has in me and uh, I just got to live up to those expectations and uh, hopefully I exceed those. Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, congrats and welcome to the league. I'm just curious, uh, obviously having your college experience um, and during the pandemic time and now your MBA uh, experience begin, uh, how are you anticipating COVID-19 um, playing a role in your rookie year? Uh, just uh, being prepared uh, for stuff that I can't um, is, is the best way I can explain it. Um, you know, things are going to change throughout the year. Um, you're seeing it happen right now with, you know, with the NFL. Uh, games are getting pushed back, canceled. Uh, there's always question marks about certain games. So uh, just being ready to adjust to things. Uh, there's not much that, you know, I can control or pl us players can control. So um, just kind of rolling with the punches and uh, just adjusting on the fly. That's all we can really do. Thanks. Hey, Tyrese, we just spoke to Luke and he talked about just – you know, that he's going to have to wait to see how things go in training camp before he starts making commitments to who's starting and who's not. And just what kind of mindset are you coming in with, with the possibility that you could be fighting for a starting job, uh, like coming out of the gate? I'm just coming in uh, ready to learn and being eager to learn. Um, just trying to learn as much as I can uh, and, and control what I can. Um, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Um, would it be awesome to start, you know, right away in the NBA? Of course it would, but uh, I don't, I don't get uh, to make that decision and uh, whatever I got to do to help the team win is what I'll do. So, um, you know, it's going to be a fun experience and I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting out there and, and practicing with the guys. Um, Ty, what just, what do you think about, you know, here you are in training camp. It's obviously a lot different than what, a lot of your peers have gone through uh, and what they've been used to training camps. And you're going to be playing games here in, in about 10 days. Um, 
what's going to be the toughest part of this that you can already kind of anticipate for the lack of a better term? I mean, I mean, obviously you have to experience it first, but is there anything kind of on the horizon with the way camp is that, that will propose a challenge for you? Uh, well, through day one, I, I guess the, the hardest thing has been getting through the facility, <laughs> just figuring out where everything is uh, and meet, meeting everybody and remembering names and stuff like that. That's going to be uh, the most important part for day one. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more challenges uh, that are about to happen, you know, obviously on the court and off the court. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that I, I got to be prepared for and, and life's about to be you know, moving really fast. So uh, just like I like I mentioned earlier uh, with COVID, um, just being light on my toes and uh, rolling with the punches to, you know, to be ready for, for what I can't be ready for. Matt George. Hi, Tyrese. Good to see you. Welcome to Sacramento. Um, Monty McNair spoke about his approach to the draft was prioritizing talent over fit, but he was thrilled that you you were there for talent and fit. He's also talked a lot about how um, he's tried to add a, a versatile group that can be able to match up with different teams. How do you feel that your game, the vis- uh, versatility of your own game, fits in with that philosophy? I just feel like there's a lot of different things I can do, um, a lot of things that I bring to the table. Um, I've mentioned it before. Uh, not only do I feel like I'm a, you know, a perfect fit next to De'Aaron, but uh, along with the other guys on this team, I feel like uh, I fit perfectly. Uh, not only talent-wise, um, you know, but building a culture here in Sacramento. So, um, you know, I feel like I bring a lot of different things to the table and uh, can help this team in a lot of different ways. So, um, I'm thrilled to be here, and I think it's like I said, the perfect fit. There are always expectations with a a top pick in a draft that they will get playing time and maybe a significant role uh, right away. But Coach Walton talked about with the abnormalities of this upcoming season that he needs everybody to be prepared and everybody ready and that they will have their number called upon at some point. Uh, How much confidence does that give you? And I guess your fellow rookies knowing at some point in the season, my number is going to get called and and I'm going to get my opportunity. Yeah, I mean, that's what we talked about uh, on the flight together on Friday was just kind of, you know, the opportunity here in Sacramento, um, you know, with everything that's, you know, been going on and, and a lot of new faces, you know, all of us are going to get, uh, you know, an opportunity of some sort. So it's on us to be ready and prepared for that. And um, I think that's the beautiful thing about being here is there is a lot of opportunity to go around and uh, whether you take control uh, of that or not, that's on you. There's a couple more Jason Jones. Hey, Tyrese. Hey, how we doing? All right. Um, one thing uh, Coach Walton mentioned was about how it's a grown man's league and normally your rookie would have summer league and you'd have about a month of pickup games to kind of get acclimated. Without having that type of uh, same buildup, what have you been able to do workout-wise to prepare for the physicality and just the uh, level of play you're going to have coming in the NBA? Yeah, I guess, you know, kind of just through the pre-draft process, being in Las Vegas, you know, with other guys, uh, you know, being able to play one-on-one and two-on-two, not only with guys that are incoming, but, you know, pros overseas and dudes in the league, uh, being able to be with those guys and kind of just get a sense of of somewhat what it's going to be like. I don't think that there's, you know, any way to really simulate what a game is really going to look like. Uh, It's just about being prepared now here in practice and uh, just learning as much as I can, competing as the best I can, and uh, I think everything else will follow. And is there like a level of excitement? I mean, I know it's one people have said, you know, it's not the normal thing. You normally have a longer break in between the draft. But is there some type of excitement of knowing you just got drafted about two weeks ago and you're going right into training camp already? Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of excitement. Um, a lot of things to look forward to, um, you know, off the court, but on the court as well. Uh, my life is changing uh, very fast. Um, and, and, you know, that's kind of what I signed up for. Um, this is something I've dreamed about my whole life. So, um, I'm not going to sit here and, and complain by any means. Um, I'm, I'm ready for the, these challenges and ready to, you know, get started. Jason Anderson. Ty, good to see you, buddy. Welcome to Sacramento. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what, what, uh, what have these past few days, like, uh, been like for you, what kinds of things in the city have you, have you been able to see? I know a lot of things are probably closed and, and shut off, but um, just just how have you passed the time these last few days and what have you learned about Sacramento so far? Um, you know, just uh, looking looking up places to live, 
um, you know, going out and, and eating out at spots that are, you know, more local, uh, trying to find, you know, different spots within the city that, uh, you know, I don't have back home. Um, and, and, and mattress shopping. I didn't know mattresses were, you know, that, that, uh, uh, that pricey. So, uh, just doing a lot of different things, kind of, uh, adulting and, uh, you know, kind of living on my, my own for, you know, the first time in my life. So yeah. there's just a lot of different things that I'm doing. Yeah. Right I was going to say, welcome to adulthood. People don't realize how expensive that stuff is sometimes. Um, uh, you know, to follow up on uh, Jason's question a moment ago regarding the acclimation, uh, to the NBA has the team have you have you talked to to whether it's the coaching staff or the front office about just how they want to bring you along and and develop you and, and is it any different maybe than than other years might be yeah I don't I don't feel like we've had you know extended conversation on on things like that um you know I see you know the excitement from you know the organization itself and uh how they see my fit but you know a lot of my conversation uh, has just been about, you know, getting acclimated within, you know, the offensive philosophies and, and, and what the team needs and, and wants to see from us. So, uh, the, you know, the main people I've been in communication with would, you know, be Harrison and, and De'Aaron. So uh, talking to those guys constantly and along with the staff, uh, Coach, Coach Walden and Coach Gentry and, and Coach Rex. So it's it's been a lot of people and uh, just staying in communication as much as possible. And, you know, I think we'll get deeper into that conversation uh, as these next couple of weeks go by. All right, I got time for one last question. Mark Jones. Hey, Tyrese, how you doing, man? I'm good. Um, how you doing? Good, good, good. Hey, first of all, uh, the game day drip was first team, all drip, all rookie, all draft day. I just want you to know that. That was, that was pretty impressive, <laughs> man. And look forward to calling the games with you this year. Hey, through the years, you, you kind of noticed that uh, rookies being able to get on the floor – often comes down to winning the trust of the coach and winning the trust of the coach comes down to being able to defend. How would you characterize where you think you are defensively and how you plan on being able to win coach Walton and coach Kalamian's and coach Gentry's trust to be on the floor? Yeah, I would think things that uh, would help me earn trust would, uh, you know, be my communication. I think that's the most important thing defensively um, is just communicating and, and talking through things. I think a lot of, you know, defensive breakdowns and things come down to communicating. So I think I do that at a, at a high level. And I also feel like I'm a savvy competitor. Um, I'm somebody who knows where to be at the right times. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I always know defensive schemes and uh, where, where I'm supposed to be at all times. Um, and, and then let, the word I just said, competitor, I'm just uh, willing to compete defensively um, at all times, take on all challenges. Uh, you know, if I get knocked down, dust, dust it off and get back up. So um, you know, I, I just compete defensively and uh, just overall as a basketball player. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate you, Joe. Yeah, appreciate it, guys.